fighting climate change and fighting for fair climate finance is central to our country's ability to thrive. Actually, it's central to our country's ability to survive. That's why we call it an existential threat. And that's why our country's climate activism and leadership is so important. That's why I hosted a regional neighbors for a first of its kind conference here in August so that we can work with other small island countries to make a stronger voice in the upcoming COP27, the global UN climate conference in November. A lot of important decisions will be made then about how to compensate countries like ours for our climate debt and risks. The wealthiest countries on earth have become so wealthy by using oil, gas, and coal to produce energy and power, their industrialization. And these fossil fuel emissions pump massive amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. All that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere traps more of the sun's rays, heating up our planet. And that warming is having all kinds of climate effects, including rising sea levels and more intense hurricanes. The Bahamas has contributed only the tiniest percent of the world's global emissions, yet we are the front lines, we are on the front lines, consistently rated as one of the countries most at risk. The nations who have caused the most harm to the climate have made various pledges and commitments to reduce emissions, compensate, country, compensate countries like ours for loss and damage, and offer fair climate finance so we can have the resources to adapt and become more resilient. Now, they have to live up to those commitments, and they are not doing so. And now is the time for them to step up even bigger on climate justice. This is the great fight of our time. 